Riddle. And I'm Jenny Richard. And you're watching The Pivot, your news source for the latest marketing tips, tricks, and trends from your very own Glick Marketing Department. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the We Are Listening campaign, about the importance of online reputation, asking for the reviews, and putting this important initiative into action. Now let's get started. Let's go over to Marianne and Emma to learn a little bit more about the We Are Listening campaign. The goal of the We Are Listening campaign is to solicit positive reviews to boost our online ratings. To do that, all side team members need to work together to ask for positive reviews when a positive experience happens on site. We have created several tools to help us with this goal. First, each property has a feedback URL associated with their property website. This URL provides links to the most popular review sources so that customers can easily navigate to where they can leave positive reviews. Second, several orderable templates have been created to help assist in directing customers to the property feedback URLs. All of these can be ordered online on the glickgraphics.com stationery and print website. Lastly, we have the newsletter, which is sent monthly to all properties with reporting, contest information, and links to the tools we just mentioned. A contest portion has been added to this campaign to help motivate and reward properties receiving positive reviews. Each month, the positive rev reviews received by the properties are tallied. If a property receives three or more positive reviews in one month, they earn one entry into the quarterly drawing. Each month is a new opportunity to gain entries, and qualifying properties are announced in the monthly newsletter. At the end of the quarter, the properties that have qualified for monthly entries are placed into a drawing for a chance to win a dinner with upper management and a $50 gift card for each team member. The quarterly winners are also announced in the monthly newsletter. So joining us now for an in-depth discussion about reputation management is John Earhart, Vice President of Property Management, and Jason Whittington, Vice President of Business Solutions. Welcome, John and Jason. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. We talk about prospective renters completing their research and making decisions about the community before we ever speak to them. John, can you tell us how this may impact the overall success of the community? Well, I believe the prospects coming to our properties have never been more astute in their due diligence in looking for the next new apartment home. Uh, with that, one of the most important aspects of that is or property reputation. Um, they are looking for favorable impressions and they're looking for authentic responses. And so the more that we have on our properties, I believe the better off we'll be, the more leases we'll get and the higher occupancy we'll have as a result. Couldn't be more true. Thank you, John. And John, what do you think that our teams need to know about our or their role <clears throat> in receiving online reviews? Well, uh, marketing department does reply to all the uh, opportunities and so on behalf of the property, so that's taken care of. So the site teams don't have to worry about that. However, they do need to be aware of a binary fountain communication through email that they need to at least be aware of so they're engaged in the online process for their property. Yeah, that's really great. So really the online reviews or responses are just taken care of for them, which is really great. But now we have an opportunity to do something more with that, right? So John, what do you advise when the team receives a positive review or a compliment to further enhance the customer experience? Well, there's still opportunities to enhance that experience through um, email response, um, even a handwritten note, or uh, a phone call to them acknowledging uh, their response. And this should be done whether it's a favorable or unfavorable or a neutral response. That's great. Yeah, think about how we get responses like that from you know day-to-day -day interactions with people we do business with, and it's really nice to get that follow-up email to to thank us and ask for a little bit more information so they can act on that. That's really great. And Jason, what are some scenarios that you have seen where team members have had success in asking for customers to leave positive uh, feedback on our review site? Yeah, I think that's a great question. <clears throat> and I would go back to our service vision of enhance every experience. Uh, we spent a lot of time picking out those specific words. I think that every experience really uh, points us back to that there's an opportunity to ask for a review 
or to ask for feedback in literally every experience. I think we should focus on positive experiences uh, especially, but that can be any time a service request is completed, any time lease paperwork is signed, really any interaction that we have with the resident, especially positive ones, is an opportunity to ask for a review. Hey guys, now let's go over to one of our properties so that we can see asking for a positive review in real live action. Thank you so much for staying late to give me that package. Of course, no problem at all. It's my pleasure. Awesome. Hey, if you feel like we have provided you with excellent service, yeah. would you mind going online and filling out a positive review? Absolutely, no problem. I'll take care of that right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Jason, can you tell us about technology challenges and asking for reviews, and how might our team members be able to overcome the potential challenges? Sure. Um, as would probably not be too surprising, at some of our properties, there are actually challenges with our residents having access to the internet. Um, one of the things that we're doing to try to help with that is we're actually installing business centers in all the properties that may have these challenges, uh, where the residents will have a computer with access to the internet so that we can encourage them to use the business center to post reviews online. One thing that um, we do have to be aware of though is that uh, there are some of the review sites that have algorithms that look for uh, multiple reviews posted from the same computer, uh, which can be identified by the IP address. And so <clears throat> we do have to be careful that we're not, we're not asking residents to post a lot of reviews on the same day from the same computer because that actually can get us blocked from those sites. Um, so a resident party might not be the best time to ask for online reviews unless you're careful about how many people are actually posting them, those reviews. That's really great. Um, another thing uh, to keep in mind is that we do have a full list of recommendations and best practices on marketing SharePoint page online. All right. So Jason, should we encourage our team members to offer incentives for positive online reviews? That's a great question. Uh, the short answer is no. Um, it can get really tricky if you're offering incentives for online reviews. Uh, each site has its own rules and regulations. It's really important for us to follow those rules and regulations, and a lot of them strictly prohibit us from offering incentives. So we really can't do that. Um, the nice thing is, is that if you provide a great customer experience, most of your residents will be more than happy to go online and leave a review for your property. Great, very true. Jason, tell us what it means to like to ensure that our online reputation reflects our positive image. Yeah, I can I can tell you that um, with the executive team at Glick, that online reputation um, would be hard to underestimate the importance uh, with our leaders. Um, as you probably know, we. Uh, created a new um, award at the Glick Gala this year for the best online reputation in a, in a number of categories, including most improved, which I thought was, was pretty fun to hand out at the gala. Um, <clears throat> additionally, um, our corporate priorities, um, which are the just the handful of priorities that are the most important things for us to focus on as a company, online reputation is, is on the 2019 priorities for the second year in a row, which really demonstrates how important it is and should be for all of us. John, do you feel it's okay to post on social media via Sochi when asking for online reviews? That's a good question. Uh, one would think it would, might be a good approach. However, we don't really recommend taking that approach. Uh, we want these reviews to be specific to an experience, and so we wanna make sure that we stick to that plan. Uh, plus, when you send out a mass request for give us your review, there, there's unintended consequences possibly where you may end up getting a lot of unfavorable responses that you didn't plan on. So we best believe to keep it experience-based. And Jason, tell us some examples of online review sites that our residents might post their feedback on. And in addition, should there be a focus on one site more than another? Uh, there really shouldn't be a focus on any particular site. Uh, one of the easiest things that, that you can do as, as an employee of the property is to ask your residents to go to the property website and click on the links that we've already got there to leave reviews. Um, it could be a Google review, it could be apartment ratings, it could be Yelp. There's a number of sites and I think it's really important for us to let our residents choose the social channel 
or the review site that they're comfortable with and not try to dictate um, their experience or, or their choice of channel to them and just let them choose what they're most comfortable with. Great feedback, Jason. And I also believe that the We Are Listening campaign tools do um, have some information on several different sites that our um, residents can actually go to to post that online review to make it easier for them. That's great. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us, Jason and John. And thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Pivot. Oh, 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 oh,